Welcome, here I've got Xiaomi 11T and let me show you how to use Camera Pro mode at this device. So let's start by tapping on Camera button to open it and for now we are on standard photo mode so we have to change it by using this settings bar and just simply going to left to Pro. So here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. Let me start with this settings bar now and let's go from right. Here we can manage the lens of our camera. We are on white. We can pick also ultra wide and macro. Now let's stay on white for example and move to the next one option, the exposure compensation. So we get access to this type of slider and here we can manage the light of our picture in kind of basic way. By going to right we can make our photo more bright as you can see. By going to left we can make it more dark. To go back to auto exposure compensation we have to simply slide to zero to the center of this slider. Let's move to the next one option, ISO. Here we can change camera sensitivity to light and we can make it less sensitive from 50 or more sensitive by going to right to 6 and 4000 of it. So this is really wide spectrum like in the professional camera. And of course there's no problem to go back to auto settings with that. Now we have to simply tap on a letter button from the left. The next one option here is shutter speed. So we can change the time of taking photo. We can make it shorter from one and four thousand of second. So it should be better to objects, for example, in move to frozen them at the picture with a good light. Or we can make it longer by going to right to 30 seconds. And it should be definitely better to objects that are stable or if we want to have some blur at our picture. To go back to auto shutter speed, we have to tap again on a letter button from the left. But I want to show you also that when we adjust these two parameters, ISO and shutter speed together, we get access to really advanced light managing. So now exposure compensation button is locked because we can, as you can see, easily manage light here by using these two parameters and we don't need these basic settings. So if you want to quick adjust exposure compensation at your picture, you have to stay on auto with these two parameters to use exposure compensation here button. And now we have one extra thing connected with these three buttons. So let's move to right corner. When we pick it, we get access to more options about the camera we can manage. Most of them is also in standard photo mode, but here in Pro, we have three extra things. One thing from uh, here I want to show you now is exposure verification button. So just one tap here and we can turn it on, another tap of course to turn it off. When we have it turned it on, we can check if we adjust our exposure, our light of the photo correctly at the photo. So it works with exposure compensation button here. When we gave to our picture too much light, we can see this kind of red signs that shows us the areas of the photo that are overexposed. When we give it to less light, we see blue signs that, that shows us the areas of the photo that are underexposed. And it also works with these two parameters. So when we adjust ISO and the shutter speed, we have access also to this uh, exposure verification. I think this is really useful. This can help us to learn a better light managing. And now uh, let me keep this turn it off. Maybe let me stay on auto settings with that. And move to the next one option, the focusing. Here we are on autofocus. By using this slider, we can change it to manual and adjust this as we need, or just go back to a letter to auto settings. And let's move to the next one option, the white balance. So we can change the temperature of our picture and it depends from the light we have in the area where we take a photo. So we can pick four ready lights, the tungsten light, daylight, white fluorescent light, and the cloudy light. When we tap to last button on this settings bar, we get access to extra slider and here we can manually adjust white balance in Kelvin degrees. So by going to right, we can make our picture more warm. By going to left, we can make it more cold. 
and of course we end up here and a letter button to go back to alt white balance but i want to show you also that when we adjust all of these parameters manually and we want to go back to auto settings we don't have to separately uh, clicking on this a letter button we can use this button which appears from the left and here we can reset parameters now so we can start using this from the beginning now and let's move up to the second from the left button now on this settings bar so we can pick the metering of our camera frame average spot and also center weighted here on this button we get access also to the best possible quality of this camera 108 megapixels so just one tap to get access to it another tap to turn it off and uh, let's go again to right corner button i want to show you here also focus picking so it works with focusing when we want to adjust our focus correctly this is useful because it shows us the parts of our picture that are in focus so also you can check if you do this correctly here let's turn this off and i want to show you last thing here on this parameters rough format so just one tap to turn it on another tap to turn it off easily and uh, this is really professional thing because rough is used by professional photographers by saving uh, to saving more details at the picture and post producting them in graphic programs so we can save now our photo not only in jpeg but in rough now let's turn this off and let's move to eye letter button from the left when we tap here we get access to short tutorial and we can also read about all of these parameters so i think you can learn from this also and let me use the settings now to take a photo so for example let me pick macro lens the exposure compensation let's leave it the iso here and the shutter speed maybe here let me try to adjust focusing okay so i guess i have to change my lens because i don't really have well conditions to do it here and the white balance maybe let's pick daylight to see my photo let's go to left to the button that follows us straight to the gallery so it's not perfect of course i suggest you to making experiments with all of these parameters and just have a good fun thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up